Hi guys, I'm Shandor. Welcome to my cinema. Today I'm watching the 1984 comedy Johnny Dangerously. This movie was recommended to me by someone I know. He showed me about a 15 second clip of this movie and it seemed absolutely ridiculous in the best possible way. And I've been wanting to watch more comedies on this channel anyway. Now, I had no idea about this movie's existence up until like two days ago. I only know that it stars Michael Keaton and I think that this is a parody of sorts of 1930s gangster movies, that sounds pretty cool. So I'm going into this movie completely blind as usual. So let's not waste any more time, here comes Johnny Dangerously. 3, 2, 1. Nineteen thirty-five. I almost said 8. <laughs> okay. There he is. Anybody hungry? I think you're gonna like this. <laughs> Maybe not. Yep. Polly, come on, get that for me, would you? All right. <laughs> nah, probably get better tomorrow. No, oh, he's stealing a dog. Well, maybe if you would drink so much, the whole thing would clear up, ma. I'll see you later. All right, come here. Hey, it was this little gadget right here. That was something I came up uh, with. Prevent stealing. Stops guys like you. Very 1935-ish. What's going on? Eh, don't worry, it'll end in a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. Self-aware movie. And nobody had it tougher than my mom. Mom Kelly. The Lower East Side. This really sucks. <laughs> oh, it's like a Matt Brooks movie. Oh, God. It's the worst July in years. July? <laughs> hey kid, paper here. Yeah. All right, Tribune, get your Tribune. Get your Tribune. <laughs> tribune, <laughs> get your Tribune. One loud <laughs> Hey, this is my corner. Hey, Danny Vermin don't look for nobody, Kelly. Oh, uh, it's okay, officer. I can handle this myself. <laughs> <laughs> And no hard feelings. You ain't seen the last of Danny Vermin. Is that foreshadowing? Hey, how would you like to make a 50? Do I have to break the law? Yeah? If I broke the law, it'd be like breaking my mother's heart. But if you change your mind, I'll be at the Club 25. I'd rather be stealing. Subtle. How's my mother? It's her pancreas again, Johnny. She's going to need an operation immediately. How much is it going to cost? $49.95. Where am I going to get that kind of money? Why don't you knock over a gas station? Mm-hmm. Look, Mom. You call it Oliver Wendell Holmes purple. Isn't that something? And him only six years old. Mm. Oh, your poor father would have been proud of you. He always wanted you to be a lawyer. <laughs> Saints, it's an ashtray. I've been thinking of taking up smoking. This clinches it. Oh, yeah, good idea. Sorry, Mom. It's the only way I know how. Well, yeah, makes sense. At least our main character has a good motivation, you know. What are you doing here, Ice Hole? Hey, can a fellow ice enjoy hole? a night out gambling with some of his pals? Okay, you and the rest of your bastiges can gamble. But don't try no fargan trick, <laughs> otherwise you wind up with your bells in a sling. Hey, self-censor. Self-censorship. I don't have to be about anything. Here you are, sir. Thanks, kid. Mm. Ah. Nobody move. Next shooter. Next shooter. It's only a fucking jet. Oh. Get Hell of an anniversary, Lou. <laughs> Johnny... Johnny Dangerously. Mm -hmm. Just why not? Anyway, Mom's pancreas got better. Things generally improved. How's my mother? It's her thyroid, Johnny. What's wrong with it? We can't find it. Uh, gonna have to do a thyroid search. Uh, How much is that gonna cost? You're in luck. This week, a special $999. Talk about bad luck. There was only one place for me to get that kind of money. <laughs> so I joined the Jocko Dundee mob full time. The years didn't soften Moroni. He continued to murder the English language <laughs> and anyone who got in his way. 
Around here, you're Johnny Kelly, a law-abiding nightclub owner. Mm. Not the notorious gangster Johnny Dangerously. Sure, <laughs> and I'm the Pope. Oh! You gotta watch your head left, Ma. I love him, but someday I'm gonna knock him on his oh, ass. Oh, yes. That's what you should do. What you cooking, Ma? Beer. Beer. <laughs> With noodles. With noodles. Where's Tommy? Don't be talking to me about Tommy. Why not? Because I'm leaving law school. I'm dropping out of law school so Sally and I can be married, and there's nothing you can do to change my mind. Is this what you want, Sally? I want whatever Tommy wants. Can't you see you breaking your mother's heart, Tom? Why, Tommy? Why? I can't say it in front of Mom. i tell you what, why don't you meet me at my place so... 10 o'clock. I know what you can say. You want to get laid. Mom! You want to hump your brains off. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. <laughs> well. John, you want to be my first? No, it's my turn tonight. I'm not wearing a bra, Johnny. Oh. That makes two of us. Yeah. What do they call you? Impressive. <laughs> Her name is Lil Sheridan, Johnny. Do you know your last name's an adverb? Yeah, it hey. is. I like that. Fire. Verb. You got those. <laughs> you call me tomorrow. Yeah. Well, don't be upset when you don't hear the phone ringing. That's the first time I had to take that card back. I kind of like it. <laughs> Does the word smitten mean anything to anybody? <laughs> Hey, Johnny. Hey, Vito. Sorry, guys. I can't really say anything smart. You know, it's just a really, really silly movie, and I really, really enjoy it. Johnny, I want you to meet two new members of the gang. Danny Berman and his sidekick, Dutch. Hello, I'm Johnny. I'm sensing trouble. Hey, you, Danny. Danny and I used to fight in the old neighborhood. Oh, that's him. What's this? Dear bastards, I hope I got a few of you. If not, I'll get you when I take over the club 25. Oh. You shouldn't grab me, Johnny. My mother grabbed me once. Once. Because if I don't get laid, I'm gonna die. Oh, so it is about that. Your testicles and you. <laughs> Take a good look. Uh, These are the unlucky ones. Uh, These unfortunate souls are suffering from ESS, enlarged scrotum syndrome. Oh, poor guys. Don't let anything come between your testicles and you. Thank you. Very educational. Thank you. I learned so much about go? my testicles. Back to law school. Ah. It worked. I'm noticing different transitions, by the way. They're cool. I'm naming as my successor, Johnny Dangerous. You're holding up traffic. Uh, that song you just sang, I figured that gave me the green light. Well, I hope that light changes pretty soon because my motor's running. Hmm? Well, you better be careful. You don't want to overheat. So then I decided to leave Pittsburgh and come here to Chicago. Uh, Lil? Yeah? This ain't Chicago. Uh, We're in New York. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this is so romantic. I can feel the romance. Yeah, so many comedies did that. Oh, okay, that's that's a cool. Sounds like Johnny's cool getting edit. laid. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay, going to work very carefully. Three hippopotamus. Go. <laughs> okay, the gang war is on. It is on. A year from now, we're gonna look back on all this, and we're gonna have one big laugh. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, he's gonna oh, glow, boy. isn't he? Wait. Yeah. Oh, he's alive. You remember this? Take it. Dundee retires dangerously, you crime boss. Of course. Who's Johnny Dangerously? <laughs>
Yeah, sure. Not the paper would write about it. I was on top of the world. Well, that was a great story, Pops. So long. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just getting to the sad part. The two Kelly boys. Where did I get me camera? Hold this. <laughs> Where the hell is that camera? A wig. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> okay. And I know you're going to be real proud of me when I tell you that I'm going to join the district attorney's office. Uh... See, Johnny, I'm going to dedicate my life to fighting crime. Isn't that great? Well, yeah. Mom, it's prohibition. Oh, shut up. Stop acting like a fag choir boy. Mm. It's a miracle neither one of you turned out to be a piece of shit criminal. Well, yeah. Poor mom. Tommy Keller is working for us. There's someone. Oh, Kelly, oh, welcome to the we team. I'm proud to be part of any team whose adversary is crime. I saw the legs underneath the table. He became the most tireless crime fighter this city has ever known. He fought crime in the newspapers. Against crime. He attacked it on the radio. That Roman Troy oh. Maroney is the man yeah. responsible for the Mother's Day massacre, the Christmas Day slaughter, the Lincoln's birthday mutilation, <laughs> and the Groundhog's Day beheadings. Groundhog's Day beheadings. I would like to direct this to the distinguished members of the panel. This was the 50-second clip. You lousy corksuckers. <laughs> you have violated my fargan rights. <laughs> Common patriotic citizens like me could not be taken away by a bunch of fargan ice holes <laughs> like yourselves. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's hilarious. And traveled a distance of 683 miles. Tell me, sir, what time would that train reach Chicago? Deported to Sweden. Chris is not from there. Listen, Burr. Why don't you talk some sense to the kid? Get him to play ball. Fabulous idea, Johnny. I enjoy planting bombs in people's cars. These are a few of my favorite things. Sick? Don't ask. <laughs> hey, hey, don't hurt the parrot. He's cool. You miss fuck face. <laughs> Hey, what's the matter? Something going on between you and this Kelly guy? Yes. <laughs> My father hung me on a hook once. 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 There's something fishy with Johnny and that DA. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yeah, unfortunately he's right. Let's see what's in store for Tommy Kelly if he plays ball. Cook a whole turkey in just under a day. In a rut, Tom. Get away from oh, it all. This is Take hilarious. A trip around the world. Cozy little love nest. Plenty of extra closet space. Perfect yeah. for entertaining. That is cozy. She can wrap herself up in ice. <laughs> it's all yours, Tommy, if you play ball. If you play ball. I say I'll see you behind bars. Yeah, I figured. Uh, Johnny, what do you want to do about this Kelly guy? Come on. He wants you to kill him. What's the use of trying not to fall? I have no will oh. to make you kill The brakes are not working. I'm just like an apple on a mountain. I'm going to take out some muscle. Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, stay moving. Uh, 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 uh. Dr. Kaplan says he's going to be fine. We Kellys are tough. What happened? He's coming down the hill from the DA's house, and his brakes failed him. His brakes? I got a little business to attend to. Yeah, he knows what's up. We should spend some time together. Oh. oh. See, two weeks in Puerto Rico. Red, my favorite color. Oh, excuse me for a minute. I gotta make a call. Uh, Danny DeVito is gonna bite the dust. The <laughs> 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 Amber dies in commercial. I can see. My God, I can see. Look at this. 
My own brother's out to get me. That psycho vermin's out to get him. The gang's getting antsy, and the crime commission's breathing down my neck. Johnny dangerously can't live a normal life. It ain't the cards, is all. Burning hot for one moment in time, and then we plunged earth. Uh, yeah. Disappear. Jesus Christ, I'm starting to upset myself. Uh, yeah, but he was right. Oh, but Johnny, it doesn't have to be that way. We can change. Follow him. It's for the handicapped. I am handicapped. I'm psychotic. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. You've gotten to be like a daughter to me, and I want to share something with you. Oh, what's that? A vibrator. Kelly? I go both ways. Uh, 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 okay. I'm glad we waited. Yes. But I can't wait anymore. Okay, where? Someplace real close. China. And when will you follow your brother's example, Johnny? I'm Johnny Kelly's kid brother. Not Johnny Dangerously's. Just a matter of time, wasn't it, kid? Listen, all I ask is you don't tell Ma. She's gonna find out. Because when I put you behind bars, Johnny Dangerously, your picture's gonna be on the front page of every newspaper in this country. The acting is so over the top, you know? But it's on purpose. I win, you quit. You win, I quit. <coughs> Well, he lost his brother. Smoking is the worst thing you can do to your body. <laughs> well, one of the worst things. Johnny Dangerously is going legit. Well, what? Legit. Well, why? I'll tell you the why. Because Johnny Dangerously is really Johnny Kelly, brother of the DA, Tommy Kelly. <laughs> Even the dark guy. It is true. Tommy Kelly is my brother, and you know what? I'm proud of him. Fellas, I'm closing this store up for good. What? what? Yeah, well, I'm reopening it under new management. Hey. Don't worry, fellas. You guys are in the clear. It's me they're after. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, again, different transition. But by this point, the movie is kind of getting, I don't know, stale. I have to say. Less jokes. And obviously, I'm not that invested in the story, you know, this whole thing is so silly. Hey, how about a thank you? Yeah. Hey, how about me getting out of here? <laughs> hey, how about me getting knocked out? Oh, they're framing him. Mary Margaret Catherine Deneen. How'd you like to make some money? One at a time or both of you together? Uh, uh, what would it cost for you to go clean room 708 and forget you ever saw us? Seventeen thousand dollars. What are we doing at the crime commissioner's office? I was there to tell him I was going legit. What? Legit. Empty your pockets, Johnny. I can't find my cigarette case. Maybe it's in another suit. I don't think. Your car. Did you leave it in the car? No, it's not in the car. You know, sometimes when I'm shaving in the morning, I'll take it out and put it on the sink. <laughs> not in the sink. I suppose this is what you call going legit. I didn't do it. I swear to you. I've been set up. You find the guy with the cigarette case and you'll find the guy who did it. We were brothers. Brothers! Hey, wait up! He's gonna get hit in the head. Yes. And now he can't see. I guess. Son of a bitch! Now I'm deaf! Okay. Uh, you aren't deaf. Brother versus brother. Try begins tomorrow. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I got mixed feelings. Thrill for Tommy, sad for John. My name is Danny Vermin. I was uh, associated with your brother, and I just wanted to thank you personally for sending him to the hot seat. Uh, <laughs> Watch this. Johnny taught me this. <laughs> It's Johnny's cigarette case. The one he was talking about. Johnny didn't do it. I'm gonna get you, Vermin, if it's the last thing I do. And you send him to the big house. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is cool. The big house. 
it's an honor to have you on death row. Ah, don't death be row. silly. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah. <laughs> Finest metal. Good home. Oh, I can tell you, Howard, the boy needs a role model. Oh, Rocky, I'm so horny. Me too. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> Vermin's turning the place into a dive. It's attracting the worst elements. He's making a play for me. Wait a minute. That's just what we want. Johnny. No buts. You keep your eyes and your ears open. And the first thing you hear, you get it to me right away in the grapevine. You got it? Poor guy. I can hear again. But? And I can see. Okay. I can hear again and I can see. But? But who am I? Oh, oh. Here yeah, working to save brother. One into your dangerous is cleared. I've been trying night and day to prove Johnny's innocence. I see if I leave things to you, Johnny will fry in the chair like his father. How much would it take for you to tell the truth? 19,500. Oh. How does she have that money? Why, am I having a good year? Oh, yes. Does the name Mary Margaret Catherine Deneen strike a familiar chord? <laughs> I'm tone deaf. Too bad. Because she's singing like a canary and we got her in her own little cage. The governor and DA Tommy Kelly will attend the premiere of the new James Cagney movie tomorrow night. Which theater? Oh. The Savoy on 37th. Okay, thanks. Thanks, radio. That cleaning dame will clam up just fine. Yeah, you know, these all these fourth wall breaks are very, very Mel Brooks-esque. Vermin's going to kill Johnny's brother at the Savoy Theater tomorrow night. Got it? Got it. Yeah. The parrot is cool. Vermin's going to kill Johnny's brother at the Savoy Theater. Pass it on. <laughs> Johnny and the mothers are playing something at the Savoy in Vermont tonight. Nope. Vermin's going to kill my brother at the Savoy Theater tonight. Yeah. I didn't say it. Do you have any last words, Johnny? Yeah, probably. Well said. <laughs> He's in laundry. When are we gonna give it to him, boss? Just when Cagney gets his in the movie. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for Johnny Dangerously and two accomplices in a black sedan. I repeat. Ah, shit. <laughs> Officer, you can release this man. I'm granting him a full pardon. Well, if only things were that easy in real life, too. I hope you learned something from it. I sure did. Wow, the electric chair. Boy, from now on, I'm going straight. Yeah, you better see to it that That's you cool. do, or I'm coming after you. Get out of here. Wait a minute. Huh? Aren't you forgetting something? A puppy. Oh, kitty. Don't forget, crime doesn't pay. Right. Well, it paid a little. Uh, well, yeah. Well, guys, this was Johnny Dangerously. Well, this was very stupid, very silly, and very entertaining. You know, this is pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Uh, I would say the first half of this movie is stronger for me at least in terms of jokes you know the jokes work better for me in the first half i don't think this movie is on par with like blazing saddles or airplane or hot shots or the naked gun or even top secret you know but still i, I mentioned these movies because the humor is sort of in the same ballpark as you know in those movies but still this was very very entertaining michael keaton was great you know there were some really well directed sequences actually not all the jokes work, but I did not expect all the jokes to work. But still, this was a fucking great time, you know? That's all I can say. Guys, thank you so much for watching this movie together with me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And see you next time at the cinema. Bye.